Hey Vibe Makers, it's Lila with LB Novelties and today I'm going to be doing a quick flip through of the book bound 2020 planners from the Happy Planner. I have Pastel Dreams here, which is in a horizontal layout, and I have Biz Babe here, which is in a dashboard layout. I was sent the Biz Babe Planner for being part of the squad, but I really love the Pastel Dreams style. And my mom, when she saw this one, she really loved it and thought this would be a perfect work planner. And of course, I'm like, I need to get her into happy planning. So this will be for her. And I ended up purchasing this one for myself because I really wanted to do gratitude journaling in a horizontal layout. And when I saw the live of the happy planner showing this one, I just fell in love with it. And I'm even more in love with it in person. I think the book bound is really beautiful. It's a hard cover. And this little ribbon coming out is part of the book mark feature that it has but let me go through biz babe first show you what it looks like and then i'll show you what pastel dreams looks like and show you just a quick setup of how i'm going to be setting it up as my gratitude journal first we're going to start out with the biz babe dashboard layout planner this is a 2020 12 month planner so it goes from january 2020 through december 2020 i really love the design of it and it's sim it's exactly the same um design inside a Biz Babe and Disc Bound. Um, they have several of these options available in Disc Bound as well. I believe they have it in the Twin Loop. But before we get started, um, sometimes I have you guys ask questions of what the sizing is. So the book bound is seven inches wide by about nine and a half inches in length. Thickness. So that's really good. It's really slim and that's what I love about it. It's just a, a cute little book to have by my bedside. And I just, I don't know, for some reason I thought it was really um, special, especially for the year 2020, I wanted to have something to commemorate my gratitude journaling in just one book. So I thought, why not get one? But we'll discuss pastel dreams in a little bit. Let's go through Biz Babe first and just do a quick flip through. This is kind of similar to the Teresa Collins um, coloring of her planners. It's just like that soft pastel pink with blacks and golds. So again, it has the yearly perpetual calendar and then you get your currently page. And everything is pretty much the same of a disc bound. It just doesn't have the um, tabs that come out here for your dividers, but you can always add tabs if you want. But I think it's really beautiful and the foil is really gorgeous. And I also love the paper quality and weight of it. It's really nice. So this is just um, dashboard layout. And I'm just flipping through it just so you can see what it looks like. And then you go into February and the colors stay the same in regards to the actual um, layouts. So if you're someone that's looking for something neutral and simple, I think this is a really great option. And it's especially great for anybody that just wants to keep a functional paper, paper and pen and maybe eventually you'd become a, someone that likes to add stickers. But this is a great way to start getting into planning and you do love happy planning products but want to just keep it functional this is a great option i love the feature that it has this ribbon right here as your bookmark so you can um just keep place of where you're at in regards to planning i think that's really great since there's no tabs or a way to add a dashboard um, this is a great feature that they added in here and then i believe i saw some questions in regards to the binding of it so it is bound in here. I'm gonna try to see if I can zoom into it so you could see the actual binding. So that's how it's um, bound into the actual hardcover. But let's go through the dividers now. So that's February. And now that we don't have those little tabs, it just takes a little bit to find. There's March. There's April. April, and then again, these are um, colored so you can see your months. There's May, June. Oh, that's pretty. I like that copper color. Okay. July, August, set goals and crush them. September, be the kind of woman that makes other women want to up their game. All right, boss babe. And then you go into October. Good things come to those who hustle. So this is a very encourage, encouraging um, planner for anybody that's wanting to be a boss babe. I definitely think this is a great one. Never ever give up is November. And then the last month is December and it's a very neutral and simple black and white stripe with that soft pastel pink. 
So like I said, this is really soft and neutral. Oh, and this one actually has two pages for your notes. Normally it's just one sheet for your notes section in the back of a plan. So you get two sheets here. And then it's the polka dots, black polka dots for the back of the inside cover. And then this really beautiful charcoal gray um, hardbound. And my mom just loves this because she's a very functional paper and pen kind of planner and um, she loves the coloring so this was perfect for her but now i'm going to show you what i love and i'm all about my brights and colors so i'm super excited about pastel dreams for my gratitude journal so let me bring that guy out okay so here is the pastel dreams 2020 12 month book bound planner that's a lot in, this, in one little sentence, but I love this so much. I had to purchase this. When I saw it in the live, I just, I fell in love with it. And um, I just, I knew I had to have this for my gratitude journal for 2020. Um, I've been using the Happy Notes gratitude journal prompts and I do love them, but I feel sometimes there's some days where I just, I don't have time to fill out the whole sheet. And um, I just wanted to bring it back to simpler of just writing what I'm feeling that day. So I thought a horizontal layout would be perfect for me for 2020. So again, this is a hardbound cover and this has this hot pink foil logo and it says, be your own rainbow. Love it. And the inside of it is just beautiful, it's stunning. I love these beautiful tones of pastel colors. And you'll see them throughout the whole design of the actual planner itself. And I'm gonna have to find the perfect letters to letter my name here, but I think it's beautiful. The yearly calendar itself, I just love how bright, but it's like a soft bright. It's not like bright, like a bright rainbow. It's a pastel bright color. Um, I just love it. I think it makes me happy and I just see it and it just feels like, you know, light and airy and bright. I think that's what I feel when I see these colors. And I think you really have to think and to take that into consideration that there is um, reasoning behind colors. Like certain colors just make you feel a certain way. So whenever you purchase a planner, think about that too, the color theory of what a, a certain color exudes to you, what kind of emotion it brings to you. So this makes me happy. So that's why I purchased it for myself. Um, and I love that they carry the same color scheme throughout the whole the planner. So here in your perpetual calendar, you'll see the colors um, alternate through each column. So I think that's really cool. Again, the highlighted feature is your weekends. And I'll have to think of something um, creative to use this for in regards to using it as a gratitude portion. And then here's your currently. And what I love about the currently is you'll see that this top portion changes colors throughout each currently. And I love this bottom feature right here with the stripes new or hello new year love that and then this foil is so pretty so here's your january and you'll see this is the, the color for january this soft pastel pink and then you go into your horizontal layout which i'm super excited about because i'm just going to sit here and write what i'm grateful for that day keep it simple it's a really small portion so it won't take up much of my day but i still can do it every day and that's really what i want to focus on is doing it every day being grateful for something every day when you show gratitude the universe returns things to be grateful for so i'm a big believer in that and then this bottom section is kind of like a note section and you'll see that each week they have this do all the things in it and the pink is the same color but it will alternate with each month and then the only difference um, that they have is one of the weeks has the a little design on it and it doesn't have the dual things and it has grid dot um like a grid dot section right here and then also you'll find one quote on one of the weekly spreads of the month and this one says always be humble and kind other than that it's pretty simple it's same colors going throughout each stripe and then you switch colors over into your next month. So this is like a soft orange and I just love these dividers. So this is don't quit your daydream with the soft orange color scheme. And then that's what I mentioned right here. It's the same color scheme where it says do all the things. Another day, another chance to shine. Oh my God, I love that because my son's name is Chance. So I think that's perfect. Oh, I love that, that makes me happy. And radiate positive vibes. Oh, that's so cute, I love this. So. I'm just gonna quickly go through it so you can see since there is a bit of variance through each month in regards to the design of the um, note section and also the quote. This one says, be authentic, trust your in instincts, follow your heart. And then this has happy plans right here. Oh, these are it's really pretty. Kind people are my kind of people for April. I'm going into a lavender color. Be present in all things. 
I think this is a really great planner for a gratitude journal. I think it's really great. Be You Bravely. It could also work as a wellness planner. I think that'd be really great. Just keeping track of your journey through wellness. Hello, good times. Now we're going back into the soft pink. Become what inspires you. Be filled with wonder. I love that. Oh my gosh. I love this. June is my birthday month and like this is perfect. Look on the bright side and it's all these rainbows. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love it. And it has the gold foil. All right, let's see what the quote is. Choose happiness today. And then again, the bookmark in this one is a lavender ribbon, which I still, I'm just, I love all the colors in here. And it says fun or fun times ahead. So cool. Oh, okay, I love this color. It's like a teal. Teal's one of my favorite colors. This one in July says do what makes your heart sing. Be your own kind of beautiful. And then you're a limited edition is August with the lavender color. And I'm just going through this because I know it's kind of hard sometimes to visualize this on the website. So I want to make sure you could see this in case you were thinking of getting a planner book bound one. This says dream on dreamer. Yes, I'm a dreamer. Daydreaming all day. Beautiful dreamer. Oh my God, that reminds me of that song. We used to sing that in school. The beautiful dreamer one. And then, oh, this is so pretty. September, daydreams and ice cream. And then it has that um, fading effect going on here. The sun shines not on us, but in us. Oh, that is such a good quote. I love that. The sun shines not on us, but in us. Firm believer that the light is in us. September, you are looking good already. All right. Positive mind, positive life. I live that by that. I try to every day. Okay. October, be kinder to yourself and then let your kindness flood the world. Oh, wow. These are some good quotes. I love it. They did a good job with that. Okay, so October, it says, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Okay, I'm a firm believer in that too because, you know, life throws you curveballs, but then you end up learning a lot from them as well. Do what makes your soul shine. Okay, I love that. November, it's pretty, like the stripes, and then it has gold foil detailing throughout. Let's see if you can see that. The gold foil. And then November has don't let anyone dull your sparkle with craft your life from daydreams. Okay, um, I love this one too. I'm going to have to take a picture of this. It's perfect. Radiate positive vibes for the last month of December. And it goes into the lavender. I'm just going to quickly flip through this. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Wow, this is like perfect. I love this planner. I think this is one of my favorite planners that I've purchased or received. Um, beautiful minds inspire others. Oh my gosh, I hadn't seen this part. I hadn't really done a flip through, but how cool is this? There's a lavender note section. Okay, you know this is a perfect planner. Wow, this is so pretty. And then um, there's the rainbow and the polka dots and live creatively. And then that's pretty much it. And then it has the happy planner logo and the gold foil right there. I mean, excuse me, the hot pink foil. Guys, isn't that so beautiful? I love it. So I'm just gonna do a quick little, not too much of a decorative element on my first week of January, just to have it set with just a couple of the pastel stickers from the Mega Sticker Book. Right, so again, this is the Pastels Mega Sticker Book that I'll be using just to coordinate with this. I think this is a really great option. If you're still looking for a, um, something to give for the holidays, hopefully I have this video up before that. You can get a book bound, Pastel Dreams, and maybe a Pastels Mega Sticker Book. And this would be a really great start for anybody that wants to get into um, gratitude journaling, wellness planning, or even just a planner itself. Um, I think it's really great. And I'm just going to add a couple of stickers here and there, but I don't, I don't want to put too much. I want to make sure I could keep it for what it is. And it is for gratitude journaling. And I'm going to probably dec decorate more this bottom portion right here. Mm, I think I like the other one right here. Oh, happy day. I think this is really pretty. And then I'm 
Maybe like this rainbow is really cute. Just put it right here in the corner so I still have space to write. Cause yay, it's January 1st. We would make it, you know, we made it to 2020. That's a big thing. Um, is there anything else in here? Oh, I like these rainbows. lavender just right here and then I could add something right above it I like this I think this is perfect to start the year off with shine bright you beautiful human oh happy day dream big and yes and see how simple it was to decorate and I'm just going to keep it like that because like I said I want to use this utilize this more for a gratitude journal I will once in a while decorate because I can actually just put stickers here so I still have some elements of stickers but now let me leave this bookmarked and ready for me for gratitude and I can actually start gratitude journaling on the 30th so I think that's really awesome at least in this book um, I've, I've been gratitude journaling in my franken planner that I have but I'll be switching over on the 30th to this system and it's, uh, I'm really excited about it. it. Makes my heart happy. So that is the Pastel Dreams. And then again, this is Biz Babe. And there's still two other options available in the book bound. You can check them out on the Happy Planner website. But I think these are really great options for a functional planner in your life that may just wanna do paper and pen or maybe just do a couple of stickers. You could still add stickers. Um, depends on the layout too, because they do have a vertical layout, which I think will be great for stickers because you can definitely put, you know, stickers and even plan as well here. Um, I, like I said, I'm just using this for gratitude journaling, but I think these planners are really awesome and I just love the look of it and the, the, just the simplicity of it. I think it's really awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, and seeing what I'll be using for my gratitude journal and just a quick flip through of both of them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. And as always guys, peace and love.